So let's talk about what's currently featuring on my wish list. Hello, 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 and the warmest welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, proud to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and of course celebrating others. So we talk a lot about wish lists on YouTube and for me I will always say their wish lists. Mine changes all the time. I put out these videos periodically. A lot of the time I don't tick off the items. I end up going for other things because I get distracted or new things come up. I'm like a magpie. I go towards what's new and what's shiny. So an example from my previous wish list was I wanted a Mulberry Piccadilly. I decided actually that from the size of that bag, it wasn't going to get the use I wanted. It was it was more of like a Bayswater travel bag. And I just, no, there's, there's no need for that. So that was then something I put to bed. I was looking at a Celine Phantom ages ago, wasn't I? I've decided against that. So I don't always go for things or sometimes I'll pick up other stuff that I wasn't intending on picking up. Sometimes I do pick stuff up, you know, the Vivian Westwood earrings, another pair of those, um, the Le Pliage in the sky blue. You know, I do occasionally pick these things up. So let's just go through it. The first thing that's on my list is a book tote style bag brand unsure but the ones that i keep leaning towards are the versace large top handle totes and i like these very much they're bold they're in your face they're fun they're loud and the price point you're looking at half the price for a versace version than you are for a dior book tote now the Book totes are works of art, don't get me wrong. Um, but I just think that if I was going to buy this style of bag, I would want to spend a little less than that. Um, I just love it as a bit of a kind of carry-all, but it's more of a top handle carry-all. I always say I'm not really a tote person. Um, I have a fair few that can fall into that category. I classify my Longchamp as my main, my Longchamp Rousseau as my main tote. But, you know, I do have bags that may be similar to things like the book tote, my London totes from Aspinall, my MCM R and Shoppers. Maybe they're similar, but I do really like this Versace version. I really like the pink. I think that's great. I really like the Dua Lipa collaboration as well with the butterflies on it. But again, you're then starting to creep. That's about £1,700. You're starting to creep towards your money. So I think I'd rather stick at the sort of 1200 if I'm going to go for something like this or see what comes up on the pre-loved market because I'm not afraid of a pre-loved purchase as we know, but I'm really liking these. <laughs> Item number two, I talk about these a lot. I'm definitely going to try on a pair when I go to Selfridges um, in September um, and that's the Louboutins, the Soke Louboutins, and I would like them. I think the colour is Blanco, so the white patent leather with the red sole, uh, something that just really pops. Um, I have thought about buying them in black, which is very classic, the black with the red, but I actually think I would get more use out of the white, if I'm honest. And I love the kind of sharpness of them. I love the contrast that they would provide in a lot of cases. Plus, I don't have any white heels. I have a lot of black stilettos. Um, so I just think to have something slightly different. And I do love the way that the white and the red work together. I could see what I would wear these with. I could still wear it with an all black outfit. And just have the white shoes, which would be really, really striking. So I'm definitely going to look at these. I might look at the Arisa as well, um, which I think would be a bit more comfortable. It's an 100 millimeter rather than 120 with the cutout. But the sew cates are so iconic. I wish I bought the sew cates earlier. They used to be about four hundred and ninety-five pounds. They're now six four five. When I first started looking at them, they were four nine five. 
they're now 150 more. So maybe at some point I just need to go for it. But this is item number two. Item number three is from Longchamp and it is another custom Longchamp, but this time from the My Pliage Signature range. Now, I buy My Pliage clubs um, on the whole because then I can do the medium top handle. However, what I would look to do is the small travel bag, a little custom small travel bag, use it as a hand baggage piece, comes with the shoulder strap in case you did want to use it like that. And there are a couple of designs that I've been toying with, so I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are. I'll put them up here on the screen. Let me know what you think, sort of A, B or C. But I'm, I'm very interested in getting another um, custom piece. I think they're really reasonably priced. I think they're beautiful. It's fun to have something that's unique to you. It's fun to have something that's got your initials on it. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to lean into that. And I don't, I think I've exhausted for the moment the My Pliage Club options. There's one more that I'm toying with, um, but I'll make a decision on that nearer the time. Maybe when I'm next in London, I'll go and have a look at it. But that's one that I'm really interested in is this My Pliage signature in the small travel bag size. And to be honest, if I get that, I might even let my four travel bags that I've got from the My Pliage original line go, or at least a couple of them, probably the XLs, I might just let go. Who knows, let's see. Next up, a little one from Mulberry, and this is another twilly, wrappy, mitza, scarf, handle scarf, whatever you call them, basically. Different brands call them different things, as we know. So from Mulberry, I would love to get another one of the one of the kind of decorative scarves. And the bag that I would like this one to go on, if I can get it out, is this particular one. And I love the fact that the green, grey and white would be a really nice, I think, contrast, but also really beautifully complement this antique pink. So do I love this Longchamp one that's on it? I do, but I have a plan of where this Longchamp one can go. So it will not be wasted. This is from a Emotionally Unavailable collaboration that Longchamp did, but I would love this Mulberry scarf. Now, they are fairly pricey, don't get me wrong. I can't believe that I am now spending that. I remember looking at people share the scarves and go, oh my word, how ridiculous spending 80, 90, 100 pounds on these scarves that just go around the handle of your bag. I get it. I get it. They make such a difference. The one that I have on my mock crock here, I just think makes such a difference. The accessories on a bag can really change the look and feel of it. And I love this particular one. I think that was about 70 pounds. So I am all in now. And I think if you're gonna spend the money on the bags, you may as well spend the money on the accessories. So let's go with that. Whilst we're on Mulberry, one that I've mentioned, one that I've mentioned I've missed out on as well because I was silly. The Pony Hair Leopard Print Bayswater. Water. I love it. I've got a real affinity for these kind of um, faux animal print bags. So I've got my Loopy Leopard, I've got my Trippy Tiger. I would love this kind of leopard print that's in the pony hair. They're beautiful. I can't believe I didn't buy the one that came available on Designer Exchange. I was so silly for that. So I need to, I need to find another. Um, but I need it to be UK based. I have seen them when they've been on the Real Real, etc. I'm not going to get one uh, shipped in it, the, the duties, it's just not worth it to me. But I would really like one of these. It would be my fourth Bayswater. Again, it would be something a bit different. I love them in this size. This is in the classic heritage style, in the um, kind of classic size of this particular bag. Fabulous. Really hope I can find one. They're beautiful. They're fun. There, but I think it would still be really easy to style and it's still very chic and very sophisticated. It all depends on how you style them, but I would love to own one of these. And I need to find one. I need to find one. It's a must. Next up, I touched on this very briefly in my last video because I showed you how destroyed my current pair are. I need another pair of the Kurt Geiger Wickets in the white. I've got a pair in black, I've got a pair in gray. 
I've got one in white, but they're destroyed. I had another pair in white that I got rid of. I just need to buy another pair. They are fabulous trainers, so comfortable, so easy to style. I've not seen another pair of trainers like them that I love as much, even, and I don't want to spend a huge amount on shoes, but even then, if I was looking on Selfridges, etc., I wasn't finding pairs that I was liking as much as these, and these are, in a lot of instances, like a third of the price. I've debated the Alexander McQueen oversized sneakers, um, but they're just very, very expensive. Um, in, in the grand scheme of things, you know, as designer shoes go, they're not horrendous, but compared to what I want to pay for shoes, they are well outside of what I feel comfortable with. Um, he says, considering buying, you know, the 645 pound Louboutin heels. But anyway, that's something different. It's not, but it is. We, we're justifying it for different things. Um, but yes, so I haven't seen any that I like as much. Therefore, I think I just really need to buy another pair of these. I might even go for the light grey as well because I went for the dark grey, which I don't love as much. I might just go for the light grey as well. I do really like um, the black pair that I've got. I wear those quite a lot. Um, I don't style them as much, but they're more kind of running errands type of shoes. Um, and I do like those very much. So yes, maybe I'll buy a pair in white and maybe a pair in the light grey and go from there. And ultimately, I've mentioned these before as well. I'm debating a pink Prada bag and they it's the Prada Safiano Galleria, like the large version of that particular bag, the Galleria. Um, you can get a great deal for these on the pre-love market and there are a couple on Hardly Ever Worn It that I've seen that have come up and they're in these beautiful shades of pink. One is a little bit more towards highlighter pink than the other. Um, one is very much like the same colour as my Aspen of London in Tea Rose Pebble. So I'm leaning less towards that because I feel like maybe I've already got that covered. Whereas the other one is a pink that I don't already own. The bag is beautiful. I'm very tempted by it. But it's a lot of money. You're looking at £900. And versus what that will have been RRP, which will have been, you know, a good two and a half, three thousand pounds £3,000, it's... it's dropped significantly considering it's in a really good condition but that is still a huge amount of money in my life and isn't something that I take lightly in terms of spending. I think that the Prada bags are beautiful. I like Safiano leather because of its durability. I think they stand the test of time. I know a lot of people say that these bags have kind of been and gone. They've had their moment. We've moved on. To be honest, that's when I tend to swoop in and pick up those deals. Once other people think they've moved on, I want to bring them in. I want to bring them into my collection. I want to style them. Because in the grand scheme of things, who gives a shit if we've moved on? You know, fashion's moved on, but day-to-day -day life hasn't. So if I want to wear, you know, Prada bag from 10 years ago, who cares? I'm certainly not walking a runway anytime soon. Um, so, you know, let's, let's not worry about if I'm on trend or not. I'm not, I'm not a fashion week here. <laughs> and last but by no means least, a brand that I have been talking about quite a lot. I say that I don't want to spend money on ready to wear, but I would maybe like a t-shirt or something from this particular brand and it's Moschino. I like Moschino, I think it's playful, I think it's fun. I'm very interested also in the biker bag. They've got these two snake, like mock snake skin biker bags, which I think are adorable and gorgeous. Um, I do really like those, I have to say. But I would like maybe a couple of pieces of clothing from Moschino, maybe a couple of t-shirts, a jumper. Something along those lines would be great. Um, I just, I like the whimsy of it. I like the playfulness of it. I don't have much of an interest in something that's just like a plain t-shirt with Moschino written across it. That I don't have a lot of interest in, um, to be honest. I want something that really brings in the fun nature of the brand um, and that very kind of whimsical nature in some instances of the brand. Um, that's what I want to, that's what I want to be reflected in whatever it is that I choose to buy. My dream, as I said, is always to own a Moschino suit as well. I've always said if I get married, I would love to get married in Alexander McQueen and Moschino. Alexander McQueen for the ceremony, Moschino for the reception. Yes, that's a lot of money, but I ain't getting married anytime soon. So you've always got time to do some saving, all right? So let's, let's chill on that. Um, 
but yes, I think these, I think it's a great brand. I think it's really fun. There are a lot of pieces I'm really tempted by. I'm really tempted by the Lilo Clutch, which is so ridiculous, but also really fun and really funny. But it's also £270. I think, is that too much money to spend on a joke item? Maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe it'll drop further. I reckon if that clutch was 150 quid, I'd buy it just for novelty. Just for novelty. And it could also be a great decorative piece because I can see myself using it. It would be a decorative piece. I would get the money out, the value for money out of it. I wouldn't get the value out of 270 pounds. But like I said, I would love a couple of clothing items from Moschino. Haven't quite decided what they are yet. I'm also tempted by these biker bags. But when you total this whole list, you're looking at like five grand's worth of stuff. And I'm not spending five grand, so we're going to have to chop and change a few things, maybe even six grand. So we're going to have to chop and change a few things. A few things aren't getting bought, okay? Let's be clear on that. Or we're going to have to find some sweet deals, which we all know I'm very good at. So let's see where we land. So there we have it, everyone. That's my wish list. Let me know what you think of my items that I have placed upon it. What's on your wish list? What's the top? Or what's something that was really high on your wish list that you now have no interest in? Let me know what you think, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.